Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Uh, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Come on, Arthur. Mount up. Are you coming or not? Yep, yep. Let's get going. Calmate. Fish should be hungry for their dinner. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. You all right? Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Eso. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. You want everyone to know we're coming? 
No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahassee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feller. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Easy. Arthur! Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Where's your pole, Arthur? Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. Another one. We're lucky we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing, even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like... staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done.
I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We open the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Homo Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. You got one! Another one. Make sure he's tired before you reel in. Come on. Look at that. That's a good-looking fish. Well done. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Oh, I'm keeping you. It's almost noon. Fish will stop biting soon. Because of the bugs? Yeah, they only feed in the morning and evening when it's cool and the bugs are out. So, maybe we try a few more. Then head back. Fine with me. I've heard people talk about huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. Let me get out of your way. You got this one. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. 
Okay, let's go. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Oh. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. 
you boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. But liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Oh. Come on. We need to get moving. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, yes. I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. But most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days. But Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is. Dang straight, there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So... These moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. The old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor, but the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Yeah! This must have happened recently. Hey, come have a look at this. Don't dwell on it. Let's just move on. Deputy, get over here, please. 
look. Suit and tie. One bullet cleaned through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. This certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellows in my experience. Well, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Go no right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories. I'll let you drive. Well, take it easy. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. If they're right again here, we drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand like a child's on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaite's are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. I'm sure. I 